Hey folks, uh, I found that uh, that hillbilly station there where uh, you, you're not going to be able to understand them, but you don't have to worry because uh, I speak hillbilly pretty fluently. I don't speak it, but I kind of understand hillbilly. So here goes. All right, I am joined by John Brado, the Blue Dot from Texas. This is my mystery guest. The secret got out, and so uh, yeah, I'm so excited to have you. His here. mystery I'm guest. Uh, what tarnation? Uh, uh, something about his family. And all of a sudden, I find out this guy's just about thirty minutes up the road. So I find out that this guy is kinfolk. Yeah, yeah. Make that That's my son over here. He's my tech guy. He's going. All right, he's got some more sons over there. I'm tickled to death to be here, but first let me caveat by saying, on the way here, I have I have not been in such a beautiful place. As it is here out in West, uh, East Tennessee. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, okay. Now, it's going to be East Tennessee. Okay. So we're going to have to adjust that just uh, a little bit there from the Texas. And uh, but yeah, I've had a great time meeting people around. Uh, okay. So had a great time there. I'm overwhelmed sometimes with the love. Okay. He's been a bit overwhelmed. Top it off by getting me Tennessee Brando. Are you shitting me? Oh, I, I ain't shitting you, my yeah, brother. So I ain't shitting you. I mean, hell. I mean, hell, uh, you know. Uh, so, uh, I'm so excited to have him here. It's, it's awesome. And we, we've been talking for about an hour before we went live and comparing landscapes. When I go to Texas, I'm fascinated by the flatness, by like the fact that you could, like Waylon Jennings said. This is the right word there. Yeah, like like Way Legit had said, if we're out there, you can watch your dog leave, and he's you can watch him go for three days. Uh, around here, you got mountains everywhere, so uh, you yeah. got mountains everywhere. <laughs> oh my goodness, I did it. As y'all know, uh, Tennessee Brando here lives in a pretty red area, mm -hmm. uh, so there are plenty of Trump signs on our way. Oh, there are plenty of Trump signs, is there? Oh, oh baby, they're here. They're here, and they're everywhere in this country. God dang. We have gone every red state that we have all talked about. I say. And there are Harris Bowles signs. They're yeah. my favorite sign. Harris Bowles? That's my favorite sign. Not a fool. I'm voting for Harris. That is awesome. What, we got nine days left? I think so, nine man. Nine days. We're, we're, nine days. Uh, hot diggity. Hey, he loved them uh, Harris signs. He loved them. Here, all them mountains and so forth. 2016, man, this place was just drowning in Trump flags and signs. And it's drowning in Trump signs. We got rid of that, <laughs> that old dog. But, uh, we got them some uh, hair signs over there. Everything look real good now. Down the road now. And, uh, we'll and Tennessee Brandy. Hi, uh, Brando. Sorry, I got my little things confused I there. This area understands just how it, what it means for us to see a Harris. Well, what does it mean to see a Harris sign over there when everybody else got them damn uh, Donald Trump? Yeah, because <laughs> hot god dog. I know all the blue dots that right here in my town. Hey, all right, all right, right. that's what you call their clan. All found each other. And so, you got uh, yourself a clan. You know, sees a sign, we're in there going, like, hey, there's a sign down the road. So, you know, so. Yeah, I don't like them oh, signs. Oh, just about all my, my blue dot family knows where I live. A mile down my road, I live at the end of it, and it's all Trump all the way down there. Uh, of course, all Trump all the way down there in the hills. <laughs> popular to advertise anything. And uh, so I've never put out a sign in my yard. Huh. I, haven't, I haven't ever put a sign in my yard. Okay. Uh, on this trip, I, I was giving her a uh, wall sign uh, by some dear friends, and when I get home, baby, I'm putting that in my front yard. I'm going to go out there and put it proudly out there. What'd you do? You put that joker up? Like I said, history's going to be made. And, and, and this is going to be a one for the ages, baby. You're going to be able to look back at this as long as we can. Most of my followers are old like me. Uh, but, uh, you get old, you're going to look back, huh? And I know we're going to have the first Madam President I'm going to have a Madam President. <laughs> yeah, there's a little Madam President there. Hold on to your bridges, baby. They know. Yeah, that's what I've said so many times. We're in for it. We're in for the long haul. I tell people we're just kind of kicking the can down the road. We're, we're just kind of kicking the can down, down the road. Now, of course, uh, we do like see them little like fellers coming in. Uh, uh, running across and assaulting our um, our police there. I don't know what they call them. We call them police up here. 
Uh, but down in parts yonder, down in Texas, they call them folks, I believe it's Border Guard. And, uh, hell, they've been uh, kind of whacking and twacking them. And, uh, well, we don't know what exactly to do about them, but they come in here, they treat us rather well. Maybe I just drove across this country. I didn't see the Oh, you just drove clear across country, huh? You didn't see no garbage can? Folks, this is retarded. Anyways, I felt that it was my responsibility to get you caught up on things. Embarrassing, folks. Embarrassing. We are screwed. You've got a faux hillbilly here and a true hillbilly, and we are screwed. That's the way that they're going. And they're blue dots. They're they're one tarnation. And, and you know, we were talking